Alright, today on this little trailer, we're going to install the hydraulic brake assembly, part number T2351100. Now we're going to start off our install with the hub already removed, so we can show how to remove the backing plate. First off, we'll go ahead and disconnect the hydraulic line behind it. We're going to use a wrench to undo the fitting, and then remove the line. We're going to take the line and point it upward to help keep the fluid in the line. Next, we'll go ahead and unbolt the old backing plate. There'll be five nuts that we have to remove. We'll uninstall them and save the hardware. Then we'll go ahead and reinstall them later. Once the hardware is removed, we'll go ahead and take off the backing plate. With the old one removed, we can go ahead and install the new one. We want to make sure that the wheel cylinder is situated towards the top. We'll push it on, and then we'll go ahead and reinstall the hardware. To secure the hardware, we're also going to use some Loctite on it, part number LT37477. With the new brake assembly in place, we'll go ahead and reinstall the hub. Next, we'll go ahead and reinstall the hydraulic line. We'll thread it back into the back of a wheel cylinder and tighten it down. Our brake assembly is fully installed. Now we'll go ahead and adjust the brakes. We'll peel off the cap at the bottom for the adjuster. Then we'll take our tool and go ahead and spin the adjuster to tighten up the brakes. Now we want to tighten them up just enough where the wheel stops moving by hand. And then we'll go ahead and back off about 10 clicks. There should be a slight drag when you're through. Next we'll go ahead and repeat the same process on the driver's side. And with that, that'll finish for our install of the backing plate, part number T235. One, one, zero, zero.